So there's only 150 days to go until the IPC World Championships and I know that Scott Quinn, who I train with every day, is getting really excited about that. Um, I'm definitely going to go watch him swimming. If you want to go and watch him swimming, you can head to ticketmaster.co.uk forward slash Glasgow 2015 and I hope that everybody will come along and support the British Paralympic athletes that will have competing there. Having another major competition in a country that's already had a Commonwealth Games just recently is really exciting for us as swimmers. You know, people obviously really want this kind of competition to be here and for it to be just down the road from where I train is, a, is an amazing thing. It means that the home support that the crowd are going to give to, you know, our IPC athletes is going to be fantastic. I'm really excited for the IPC World Championships being held in Glasgow this year. Um, as, la as last year, uh, the Commonwealth Games was in Glasgow, so it's, it's like a year on, so it's kind of hosting hopefully another legacy uh, to showcase a good, good event. As an athlete at home Commonwealth Games or at home Olympics, the feeling that you get from the crowd, it's just this amazing feeling. So in the last stages of a race, everybody is going crazy for that home athlete. So the fact that that's all going to happen again for a lot of athletes is really exciting and I wish I could take part in that and just be there and kind of soak up all that atmosphere. There's nothing like a home crowd as uh, you get like a kind of like tingles running down your spine and you get goosebumps and you can hear them kind of cheering for you and it gives you like a good vibe when you're like, like pumped to race. At the moment we're very early in 2015 but the reality is that the Olympic Games and the Paralympic Games are next year. So that's quite exciting but quite scary all at the same time. So I think at this World Championships there's going to be a lot of really fast swims. I know that the Toll Cross International Swimming Centre is a really fast pool as well. So it's going to be quite interesting to see how everybody swims at this meet and then see how they can back it up sort of in the Olympic and Paralympic year.